esteemed guests, dear colleagues and friends, the COVID-19 pandemic has turned our world upside down. It has impacted the lives and livelihoods of people in all corners of the globe. The pandemic has affected every sector of society, so every sector must be involved in the response. We must all play our part in solidarity across government, society, and business. In particular, we must work together to assist vulnerable populations who have suffered disproportionately. They have been hurt not only by the virus, but by some of the measures taken to stop it. We cannot go back to the way things were. In some public debate, how we respond to COVID-19 has been framed as a choice between health and the economy. That is a false choice. We do not have to choose between life and livelihoods. Health and the economy are integrated and interdependent. When people are healthy, they can learn, earn, and innovate. When people are sick, the whole of society suffers. So my friends, I have four requests for you today. First, find a way to contribute to the pandemic response. This could be financially through local production capacity, community support or in-kind contributions. Second, use your influence as thought leaders. Stay informed about the facts, support public health authorities, and share best practices to prevent the spread of disease. Advocate for more investment in health, including preparedness, so that we are stronger and more resilient when the next shock occurs. Third, set an example. Work with government and others in the business community to put in place appropriate protocols, preparedness measures, and business continuity plans. Invest in workplace safety measures and in clean, green options for your business operations. And remember, there is no health without mental health. Finally, drive positive change. Keep pursuing new and better ways of doing business that advance equity, inclusiveness, and solidarity. Continue striving to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. The decisions we make today to safeguard human health and the natural world will ultimately pay huge dividends for people, the planet, and the prosperity of all. I thank you.